Hey folks, we're back again. It's the third day we're gonna be pruning the privet hedge here, and I'm feeling pretty, pretty optimistic. Last night the temperature went down. I could almost be wearing a sweatshirt today, and you may see some clips where I have a sweatshirt on. Be careful if you've got like a little branch that's like the size of a pinky or smaller. Don't leave a bunch of stubs sticking out from the, the hedge that are gonna catch someone in the eye. Uh, you know, my height, a child, a dog, a pet, whatever. Just want to show you something real quick here, folks. Leaves of three, let it be. This is Rus radicans, or better known as poison ivy. You see those three leaves? Don't grab it with your hands and pull it out. Whenever I'm pruning, I like to have safety glasses on just because I never know if I'm gonna turn and, and get a stick in my eye. So forgive me, I'm gonna have my glasses on when we film this piece. I've got my little step ladder here. You know, I could do this without the step ladder, but it's gonna be easier just because I don't have to reach all day if I step up a step or two on the ladder. The first thing we wanna do is just remove any dead branches. The dead ones are a lot harder to cut. And these are dead. You know, there's been so little light in this shrub that the branches just die because they can't, they can't get any light. They can't get any, um, any energy. And then this one, uh, this one's dead too, but this one's a little bit too big. I always keep my Falco 600 in my back pocket so I can just bring it out. Cut and then put it right back away. You see this? This one's dead too. So we're about five or six feet off the ground. And if you see right here, we have some new buds coming, new growth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a little bit above the new growth. I've just shortened this thing by about six feet. Shorten this thing by about six feet and now when the growth starts, it'll start right here. The shrub next to it, I got a little bit of green right there. I'll clip above that. Now this one is pretty tall. There's about, from where my finger is now, there's about six more feet of growth. There's a branch here, but I'm just gonna cut, just make a nice clean cut. So there's about six feet of growth I'm taking off now. And this clean cut will heal over in time. And what you'll notice is you'll see more buds. Because we cut the branch, more buds will develop farther down. These branches were so, so long that all the new growth is coming way up top. And we want that new growth to be farther down. That's why we're gonna cut the whole shrub down five to six feet from the ground and let it fill out again. This one goes all the way to the ground. This is what we want and this is what we're gonna see in a couple years. And you see how the new branch has all this growth on it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nip it about here and encourage this one to thicken up. If you see a vine like this, this is called bittersweet. Celastris orbiculatus. And this just twines around stuff. It'll end up choking it out eventually. And it's just a real pain to get it out. So if you see this stuff, go to the ground. If you can, rip the roots out. But even if you can't, cut it. These are dead. So what we're gonna do today is just start at one end or the middle or wherever and just work our way down and clean it out. And it's gonna end up looking like this. You see over here, you'll see a little bit more green, more suckers, more buds on the hedge. And yesterday, there's no way I could have walked through here. So this is what we're gonna start to see. If you take a look, you've got this little, this little guy here. 
coming off. So we should see some buds coming along these stems. That's pretty much gonna wrap everything up for today. All that's left to do is come back one more day for a half of a day, maybe three quarters of a day, bring the chipper, chip everything up. And then I will come back in a month or two and show you folks the new growth coming in, just to, to reassure you that everything's gonna be fine if you try and prune this way. One thing I may not have mentioned is the only time you really wanna prune a privet this heavy is early spring. That's when plants are gonna be really looking to grow anyways, so you get the maximum opportunity for, for more growth to come. This is where I, I did my, my close-up of how to prune, where I had the camera right over my shoulder. And I mean, this just really filled in beautifully.